Four suspects, all teenagers, are cleared of all charges in connection to crimes in the city during a violent weekend back in March. WLKY's Annalisa Gale was there when the grand jury made the decision. Annalisa, how did the family and the sus of the suspects and all everybody involved react to this news today? Rick, they say they are trying to move on with their lives at this time. But as for LMPD, it's back to the drawing board. The cases that the teens are accused of being involved in remain open. As for the prosecutors, they say the evidence was just not clear enough to go to trial. Thank you, Jesus. I told you I was going to pray until something happened. Crying tears of joy, Sherry Allen hugs her now free son, Shaquez Allen, tightly. It was the grand jury's decision to clear her son of all charges that gave her reason to celebrate. Robbery in the first degree, unlawful imprisonment, assault in the fourth degree, criminal mischief in the third degree. That is no true bill. 18 year old Allen and his three cousins, 19 year old Tyrone Booker, 21 year old Jaron Bush, and 20 year old Craig Dean were accused of robbing a woman at gunpoint at the intersection of Amy and Market Street. Allen and Booker were also accused of later assaulting a woman at the intersection of First and Liberty Streets. The same night, a group of young people wreaked havoc in the downtown area. You had many cars getting broken into that night, and that mob violence just kept continuing. Allen and Booker spent nearly two months in jail. Knowing that you spent two months in jail for this accusation, how does that make you feel? Uh, spending two months, I didn't like it. I, I hated it. I felt relief. It was relief. God was with us. We had so much support around us, and, and if you look at the story, it didn't even sound like it made sense. Friends and family have stood by the teens since they were first arrested in March. Supporters refer to the teens as the misidentified four, claiming their arrest was a case of racial profiling. Last month, this surveillance footage reportedly showed Booker in a Thornton's around the same time of the assault. Defense attorney Jan Waddell filed several motions on behalf of the teens in district court. Very exhausting case, and, and you were there for the proceedings with the judges. I thought we were getting bad rulings all along. Uh, the more evidence that came in, the more we realized as a prosecution it would be very hard to prove these cases beyond a reasonable doubt. Allen says he now plans to be an activist. I would love to talk to the young people and tell them you can't get accused for something you really didn't do. No more sleepless nights. No more sleepless nights. No more. No more. No no more stressing, no more anything. Back to normal life. Now, right now, the teen's attorney, Jan Waddell, says he plans to investigate whether or not a lawsuit can be brought forward against the city, the county attorney's office, and LMPD. Um, Mr. Hulbert tells me that he did recommend that the teens not be indicted. Live here at the Judicial Center, Annalisa Gale, WLKY News. All right, Annalisa. Now, Louisville Police Chief Steve Conrad says that he doesn't view today's news as a setback in the investigation to find out who did it. In an exclusive interview, he denied the four men exonerated today were racially profiled. Our officers stopped people, or, or actually walked up to people on their front porch, mm -hmm. that fit the descriptions that have been given to us by the witness. Mm -hmm. So no, it, it was definitely not a case of profiling. It was police officers out doing their job. Okay. Chief Conrad went on to say that he still hopes someone comes forward with information that leads to an arrest.